Here's another question with histograms. This time we're given very minimal um, information in terms of what the histogram shows, but we've been given a table here. We need to complete the histogram and then find the missing entry just down here. Remember, from the previous videos, frequency density is given as frequency divided by class width. Okay, remember, proportional, um, the error is proportional to the the frequency with a histogram rather than it just being the bar height. So what we can look at now is uh, frequency density is frequency divided by class width. So let's look at the first one here. We've got two and we've got uh, the 0 0.5. If we look at this right here, this one down here is the one I'd like to start with just to confirm what I know if I'm working with the correct scale. Three to three and a half is just here, and we know that the frequency is two and a half. If I do frequency density, frequency density is two and a half divided by the class width. Class width is one half, and of course that's going to give us five, and we can see that. So this is our frequency density. It's always going to be on this axis, and that's nicely confirmed. What I'm doing is going to be correct. So frequency density is frequency divided by class width. Two divided by a half is four. Two and a half divided by a half is five. 3.5 divided by a half is going to give us 14. Uh, sorry, no, it's not. It's going to give us seven, isn't it? 14. Hmm. OK, this one, this is one I was looking at. This is 0 0.25. So this one now is going to be 10. Two and a half divided by 0 0.25 gives us 10. Frequency divided by class width. Again, 0 0.25. 3 divided by 0 0.25 will give us 12. 3 and a half divided by 0 0.25 will give us our 14. 3.75 divided by uh, 0 0.25, that's the width, that will give us 15. Uh, what else have we got? 3.25 divided by 0 0.25 is going to give us 13. And then this one right here, 2.5 divided by 0 0.25 will give us 10. We know this one is 5. 2.5 divided by a half is 5. Now, let's have a look at this one. The class width is 1 half. We know that from there. And the frequency density is 1. Frequency is given as frequency density multiplied by class width. So if the uh, width of the interval, class width, is going to be 0 0.5, and then this one is going to be 1, the frequency is going to be 1 multiplied now by uh, 0 0.5. So what we're going to get now, we, we're after the frequency. So frequency here is going to be 0 0.5. Okay, and that's 1. So let's get this drawn up. So first one. Class interval, this is from 0 to 0 0.5. 0 is included, 0 0.5 is not. And this needs to have a frequency density. Here's my frequency density values. This has got to be 4. So 0, 0, 0, uh, 0 to 0 0.5 is going to be 4. Frequency density of 5, the next one. So that one's going to look like that. And apologies that this is not going to be hugely pretty. 1 to 1.5, frequency density of 7. There's 7. 1 to 1.5. And, and you might want to label uh, this x-axis. 1.5 to 1.75 is 10. Now what we've done on this one, we've halved that width. That's only 1.5 to 1.75. 1.75 to 2 is going to give us 12, which looks like that. 2 to 2.25 is going to be 14, so that's 14. And again, the width is just going to be one of the blocks. 2.25 to 2.5 is going to give us 15, which is going to look something like that. 2.5 to 2.75 is going to be 13, which is going to be there. And then 2.75 to 3 is going to give us 10. And then we're back on course with what they've done for us. So that's what it should look like. There's your histogram. Um, let's just, that one's just annoying me very slightly. 
that looks a bit rare. So there we go, there's our histogram, and down the bottom we would label it up, and uh, we would have now time waiting in minutes. So time waiting, and you might want to put the, the uh, categories on here from uh, 0, x, and 0 0.5, and so on and so forth. So there we go, and give it a title. But essentially that's what we're doing. If you can remember, frequency density is frequency divided by class width. Frequency is frequency density times by class width. So on this one, what we can see is our frequency density is 1, and our class width is 0 0.5. Therefore, the frequency is 1 times 0 0.5, or 0 0.5.